All right, everybody, welcome back. Let's talk about choosing the right channel. So as I mentioned before, intent and context plus the asset that you have decided to build is going to determine the channel. So take a look at, you know, your op open up that intent-based keyword planner and take a look at, at what at your work. You know, what look at the keyword, which is an indication of intent and context, and look at the asset type that you have produced. And generally speaking, that is going to lead you to the proper channel that you want to distribute this content from. And in this case, you've got our uh, our in intent of brightening the kitchen. It's going to be a video, the asset description video about different ways to brighten a kitchen. And that's going to just logically lead me to the YouTube uh, channel. So um, in another example, we've got um, in our intent-based keyword planner, we look at our intent. Uh, somebody that's looking for reviews of Hawthorne Bed and Breakfast. The asset type is reviews, right? And these reviews are going to make the most sense for us to target as a channel, TripAdvisor, because we're a bed and breakfast. So as a bed and breakfast and somebody that's in the travel space, um, we had better be uh, looking at TripAdvisor as a channel. So as we talked about earlier, there are lots of different kinds of search engines. Most people think, well, search engine equals Google, right? Google has the majority of all search. Uh, and they've cornered the market. But the truth is that all of these different little vertical search engines like TripAdvisor, Yelp, YouTube, Amazon, Pinterest, iTunes, Google Maps, or, or Google My Business, whatever you want to call it. So all of these different things make up these... Um, a lot of times much more lucrative and and um, less competitive search engines. And the interesting thing about these search engines is that these search engines are often the channel itself. In other words, for example, TripAdvisor is a search engine, but it's also the channel, right? So you they, they not only provide the search capability, but they also host the content. So the content of, you know, for this restaurant in Chicago, Alinea, we've got 886 reviews here from the TripAdvisor community. We've got information about where this uh, restaurant is located, pictures. All of this stuff is being hosted by the actual search engine. So the search engine is both a search engine and a channel. Same with iTunes. iTunes is a search engine and a channel. So not only do they allow you to search through the iTunes store and find things like apps and podcasts and music and all of these different things, but they're also the channel itself. So the actual content is actually delivered via this channel. So in other words, uh, the podcasting app in this case. So, you know, and most of these search engines, these vertical search engines are both search engines and channels. Pinterest is the same way. Um, you know, not only does Pinterest allow search, but they also are the, the actual host of the content. Uh, Amazon, same way, right? So you search Amazon, but they hold all of these product pages and they deliver the products and, and, and so forth that are purchased. But then we have to think about you know, what about our own website as a channel or our blog as a channel? What is the primary search engine that we need to be thinking about for our own website? And the thing is that Google's primary function is as a search engine only. And that search engine delivers your website or your blog or content on your domain as the channel. So in this case, you know, we've gone in and searched the Google search engine and they're going to actually deliver that traffic to our website or blog as the channel. So what we're going to be doing in this unit or this module of, of this certification is we're going to be going through the various different um, search engines and talking about optimization um, in those different vertical search engines as well as Google. And before we do that, we need to talk about something very important, which is ascension as optimization. We'll see you in the next video.